and welcome to my channel, Always Bolt the Bird, and like always, you've been here before, welcome back. So, um, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be playing a Golgari kind of big stuff, uh, man, what's the word? I haven't made the title yet, but, um, Resurrection? I don't know, deck. I can't think of the word that I'm thinking of. Um, so the idea with this is, oh, and it's also a viewer deck. We were playing this in the Early Access uh, event. Uh, so super big thank you to Wizards for inviting me for that. We had a lot of fun. Uh, but it's from uh, Shiva or Sungi in chat slash Discord. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, it's in the description below. But uh, this was a really fun deck. Basically, the idea is we want to put stuff in the graveyard, uh, then either bring it back or we have a couple of escape cards, uh, cast them from the graveyard. So um, the idea is it starts off with a little bit of rent. We got the Grazer, uh, the Gilded Goose, uh, Shadow Spear. Um, we didn't have to use it, didn't really ever draw it, but... Um, this is really good in this new, uh, set because basically, uh, permanents your opponent's control lose hexproof and indestructible. So if they drop a couple gods, we can take care of them, uh, which is really welcome because the gods can get super out of hand. Um, <laughs> then we got the, oh, excuse me, Meyer Triton. Uh, it's a 2-1 death touch. When it enters the battlefield, we put the top two cards of our library into our graveyard. We gain two life. Uh, we got the Shaman, basically kind of the same thing. Uh, top three cards into the graveyard. Uh, but we can also put a land on top of our library from our graveyard. <coughs> the Gorging, Gorging Vulture. Again, same thing. Enters the battlefield four cards from our library into our graveyard, but we gain one life for each creature we put into the graveyard that way. Uh, three Murderous Riders, which is a really good removal, and a 2-3 Life Linker. Uh, funeral Light, right? Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk today. Funeral Rites, so we're going to draw two, lose two, and then mill two. Uh, we have one Hydra's Growth, which I would probably put more than one Hydra's Growth in here, but um, coming up next, I'll show you what we love to put that on. But essentially, when it enters the battlefield, we put a 1-1 counter on Enchanted Creature, and then the, at the beginning of the upkeep, we double the amount of 1-1 counters. So then we got Relentless Pursuit. So reveal the top four, we can put a creature and or a land into our hand. Uh, the rest goes into our graveyard. So, Acolyte of Affliction. Um, again, it's a lot of put stuff into our graveyard and then bring it back. Uh, put two from a... Uh, basically, mill two. Then we can return a permanent from our graveyard to our hand. Then we got... Oh, God. Ugh, forgive me for how I'm going to pronounce this. Pelucrinos? Pelucrinos? I don't know. Mr. Unchained is what we're going to call it. So basically, it enters the battlefield with 6 1 1 counters on it, and it escapes with 12. Uh, if damage would be dealt to it while it has a 1 1 counter on it, prevent it and remove that many 1 1s. And then basically, for one black green, uh, it fights another creature. Um, and then, oop. And then the exile is six other cards from our library in 4 5 6, so we can bring it back again. Um, what's nice about this is Death Touch doesn't affect it because it's preventing the damage and then just removing a counter instead. Uh, first Strike isn't that big of a deal because, again, it'll just take away the counters rather than... And when it comes in as a 6-6, six, six, six First Strike is really hard to get. Um, Wilderness Reclamation, just in case. Uh, I don't love playing this card, but in this deck it's not that annoying. Um, so then we got Nissa, the Underrealm Lich, and then another new card... Um, the Grave Breaker Lem um, Lemia, <laughs> uh, when it enters the battlefield, search our library for a card, uh, put it into our graveyard, then shuffle our library. Uh, spells we cast from the graveyard are one less, so uh, if we have to, we can get Mr. Unchained into the graveyard. Um, and then Gorgos, because if it comes down to it, Mr. Unchained is a Hydra, and we can cast it. So... Uh, but it's four less, and basically whenever a creature becomes a uh, target of a spell, uh, Gargos uh, fights up the one t creature we don't control. So, yeah, really fun deck, super deck, super fun deck. Um, yeah, so basically put stuff into our graveyard, bring it back to our hand, or, well, yeah, just to the hand, uh, bring it back to our hand, and then play it. So... Uh, super fun deck, and I'd also love to see if you have any new decks you want me to play, any new combos. Um, the rest of the week is probably going to be viewer submitted decks that we were playing in the early access. So uh, either leave a comment below or jump onto the Discord server, which the link is in the description below. And yeah, no more talking, straight to the games. All right, concerning crows. 
Let's play some Golgari. Without green, apparently. Alright, slightly better. Mm, what do we get rid of, though? Alright, we'll get rid of that for now. We got a nice little Temple of Milady. And we'll go from here. Oh, all right, there we go. I'll keep it. All right, let's see if this lives or it gets beaten up. Um, well, no. that sucks. I would have liked some of those. Uh, okay, Dread Horde. Mmm, we gain a life. What did we lose? Alright. Uh, we get a food token. Alright, cool. Get rid of that. They could lose another life. Hopefully we get one more. One more land would make me happy. Uh, okay. So instead they must have just drawn more land or no land or something. So, but hey, we win. All right. Um. <laughs> Is that Sailor Moon aura? Like Sailor Moon with the uh, boobs? All right. I like it. I like the name. Fair enough. Uh, top two permanent to your hand. Okay. Kind of sort of forgot what some of these cards do, seeing as they are new. Uh, all right. Looks like we are going to be milled. Hmm. Let's just do this again. Mm. You know what? We have another one. Auto pay. Oh. Submit one. Okay. There we go. Grazer and a vulture. Any good permanence we want to put in our hand? Um, uh, probably this dude. Uh, we can put Nissa in our hand as well, but unfortunately... Hmm, okay. Auto pay. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for this. No attacks. Their milling is help putting what I want in my hand, in my hand. Alright, so they're going for like, super mill. What do I got left? 34 cards? Alright, I think we can do this. Alright. I guess one attacker, if they want to block it, I'm okay. Alright, yay, death touch. Alright, John Secrets. On summon. How many cards we got left? 27. And that'll be 23 soon. Uh, 
it doesn't really matter. It's going to wind up in the graveyard. All right, let's see if they want to block again. They do. All right, well, no more mill, I guess, which is nifty. Oh, midnight clock. All right, fair enough. Another Under Realm Lich. Kind of want that. All right. Okay. Mm, all right. So I have to draw seven cards. One. Yep. Resolves. All right, that goes away. Um, all attack. All right, let's see what they draw. I know after all this work, it's definitely going to be something super unfair, and I'm going to wind up losing. Oh, maybe not. Yep, resolve. I think they have an unsummon in their hand. Is that game? Okay, that's game. Cool, nifty, we win. Um, I like it. <laughs> like, um, hopefully we'll get one of those Hydra enchantments, but cool. It's doing good so far. All right. Crisp 44s or 44s. Uh, we'll keep it. Mm, we'll definitely keep a goose and we will say hello back. All right, at least he's not that stupid cat. All right, what goes in our graveyard? A grazer and a nissa. All right, knight. Uh, no blocks. I'll block the knight with that. Um. Well, actually, no. Let's just put a. Two geese. No blocks. All right, wilderness, wilderness reclamation. If an opponent lost life. All right, pass two attackers. No blocks. Okay, so they get that. What do we want back? I guess Nissa. No attacks. No blocks.
No attacks. Alright, what are they doing? What are they going to do? Fair enough. We do that. Do this. Auto pay. No attacks. Block. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No attacks. End turn. Resolve. That's fine. Honestly thought I was honestly thought they were gonna give it death touch, but uh pass. And we win. That's kinda what this deck is based about. Um it fought, so honestly, I thought they were going to give this um the plus three, plus three, and death touch. And then... Oh no, it wouldn't have worked anyway. Never mind, never mind, never mind. So if you're in the comment section right now yelling at me, I get it. Because it's instead, it just removes counter, so... But also, plus three, plus three would have been nice. It would have knocked it down to three, and then it would have died. But still. Alright, so death touch doesn't work on it. Because it's instead of. Uh, but yeah, so we win. Alright, Lord Spluchin. Spluchin? I don't know how to say that. Alright, we'll keep it. Maybe we can catch a Bark Hide Troll on turn two. With the Gilded Goose and the Murderous Rider. We'll see. Uh, it'd be really funny if that happened now. Um, <laughs> nah, it won't be. All right, knight. Well, we may just nip it in the bud now. No sense in letting that sit around any longer. And next turn, we have another one just in case. And let's see where this goes. It went really well. <laughs> uh, I guess they're not happy about a turn two murderous rider. Uh, fair enough. All right, Graf Harvest Z. Let's try to get one more win, and then we'll call it. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, maybe. I still don't know how to say that. Pelucranos? Pelucranos? We'll keep it. We are on the draw, and all right, cool. That's kind of sort of what we wanted. 
And I was going to say, we at least have black from that, but now we have real black. Fire urchin. Interesting. Should we do it for the memes? No. <laughs> we'll just do this. I'll take my land though. No attacks. There's a lot of like uh, claim the firstborn and that new um, whatever you call it. Go on. Oh, I thought they're gonna have some type of spell. All right, nifty. Um, auto pay. There's uh, there's that new saga that steals creatures. So. I hope that doesn't happen here. Uh, they're thinking. They got Claim the First... Well, there is Claim the Firstborn. Hopefully they're not playing that kind of deck. Looks like they're just playing like a spells kind of deck. Like a go nuts spells. Okay. I really hope they don't steal this. Alright, don't steal this and we win. Ugh. Yes, they're not going to steal it. Okay, next turn it would have doubled to 14. And we would have hit for 14. Um, sweet. Yeah, because even if they did damage, it doesn't... Sweet. Alright, well... Uh, Kate or Shiva or Sungi, whatever you'd like to be called. Um, thank you for the deck. We had a lot of fun playing it on stream. And I actually had a lot of fun making this into a video. So um, if you have any decks that you want me to play, seriously, put them in the comments below. New season, new decks, uh, new ideas. Uh, a lot of these ideas haven't really even been thought of yet. And I love playing new stuff. So seriously, uh, comment section below. And... I will almost definitely do a video on the deck if it's not, if it's even a halfway decent deck. Like, I got all week to try and get wins, so, like, so long as it seems like a fun deck, we'll definitely play it. So, if you liked the video, hit like, subscribe, tap the bell icon, get notified every time I post a video when I go live. Uh, other than that, you all have an amazing day, and we'll see you in the next video.